You must be sure, Hefner. Take a look at this, teammates. With what, a blanket bath, a kiss on the cheek? Come on, kid singer. I'm through dancing with you. A blanket bath, a kiss on the cheek. That's what we've seen the past couple days with this symbolism here. General Heinlein had taken a fancy to one of the maids. To one of the maids. Leviathan symbolism. But the general had consumed a little too much alcohol. You mean he was drunk? Had not the cap taught in, just like Eglon, Eglon from Ehud, Judges 3, Captain done so first. This earned him a reprimand from General Heinlein. A reap rim and more than just a reprimand, perhaps he was ab, ab, you see, v abusive. Just like when Ehud stabs Egon in the stomach, but I recall it wasn't just General Heinlein, sir, who spoke so violently, which is another reason perhaps I did not interfere sooner. Colonel Bomey, Bomb, Colonel Bomb, just like Ephraim that helps out Ehud, had something to say as well. In between them, they straightened the unfortunate captain's tie for him. What were they going to do when they were sober? Here's the giveaway here. I do believe that the general called the captain a filthy coward and said he'd make him pay for his damned interference. Then the colonel came in with his two Fenningsworth. He accused Captain... The He accused... who. He accused Eglon Cutter of insubordination of and of being a jewel over and of being a jewel over. What did Captain Cutner say to that? Mostly nothing at all, sir. He just took it as you might have expected given their difference in ranks. Pointedly, he added, the way a butler might have taken. Abuse from one of his employers, more uncouth and loudish house guests. That made me smile. It was easy to see how Kritzinger had won his iron cross. So Ehud talked with Eglon, and Eglon called him out, said he'd be a jewel over, and called him a coward. And Ehud took it as the butler who gets saved from the pit. And the chef doesn't get saved, he gets hanged. And then you see the Iron Cross there. So this, this book here, Prague Fatal, Prague Fatal, Shows what happened with Ehud. Ehud in the Bible from Judges. And this, this is how it really went down. And then you see one, his iron cross. Who stabbed Jesus on the cross? The, the Romans. So I'm in, I'm shocked right now. I can't, I can't hardly believe this, but. Colonel Baum, Ephraim, also mentioned something about sending Captain Cutner to the Eastern Front where his cheek and insubordinate would receive short shrift from his commanders. Captain Cutner replied, and I believe I'm quoting him here, that it would be a privilege and an honor to serve with re real soldiers in a real army commanded by real generals. I mean, this is crazy. This is, you know, he's talking about stuff not being corrupt. Like he's, you know, like, but he's saying it like sarcastically. And it's the Eastern Front. It's, you know, it's, 
it's everything we've been talking about, teammates. I'm talking like this is about Michael standing up and all that stuff at the end times. You know, I mean, I mean, I, I you know, when I was in a dark place, I took a sawzall blade to my to my neck. You know, when I was in a dark place and and I was on the Eastern Front dealing with my rehabilitation and all that that was court ordered. 